kids, it's Leah and Ivy and today we're going to be showing you how to do top knots. Um, it has been very highly requested by many of you. I'm going to show you the basics uh, and from there you should be able to go on and uh, do as many fancy designs as you want um, by learning these steps. But what you're going to need is a pintail comb. I'm going to be using the Shotek one. Uh, which you can get on the Christie's site. Uh, I also have an extra comb on standby just to make sure she's all brushed through properly. And then you're just gonna need some elastics. Um, again, you can get these on the Christie's site. Um, and uh, we're, what we're gonna be creating today is a very simple top knot where you can add in your extra bows afterwards. Um, but this is the groundwork that you need to do to create that top knot um, for your dog. There are a couple of things to note. When uh, you do a top knot, it is important that you do it correctly uh, because there is certainly a wrong way to do it. Um, I'm currently doing it from home today because I redo Ivy's top knots and hairbands um, about every two days um, because she's messy, messy and mucky and she likes to run around and uh, she has a habit of rubbing her head here, there and everywhere. It does take practice um, and uh, consistency is everything uh, if you are wanting to create a top. So first things first, you want to make sure that your dog is combed out perfectly. Uh, you can see this isn't, Ivy isn't at the bath today, but that's there. Uh, you don't need to um, when creating the top knot. Um, it is important that you have your dog's hair nice and dry because um, if it is wet, uh, it's not going to sit how you want it to sit. Uh, and that could cause problems. Okay, so first thing you want to do is section off the front section. So you want to go from middle corner of the eye to middle corner of the eye, I find. Sorry, sweetheart. And you just go through your pintail comb and section that bit off. Make sure that you don't take too much from behind, otherwise it'll be far too bulky uh, and it won't sit on the head very nicely. So you want a nice section. She's going to stay still for me. There we go. So you see how I've sectioned that off? So I can use a hemostat, but um, I always use my hands because if I have a hemostat, you can make it far too tight. So if you make sure it's all combed out nicely, and then you want to get your bobble. So you've got your section, make sure it's nice and neat. Make sure you're not taking too much from behind. It should be nice and flat. You don't want to be uh, sit, getting it sit properly. So, best way to figure it out is to make sure you hold it in place. Make sure it's got plenty of bounce. You can use the hemostat. I don't recommend it because you can make it far too tight. And then you just want to tie it in with your hands like this. Now, how to make sure you've put that in correctly once it's on? Make sure it's not extremely tight. Is you need to be able to get your thumb and forefinger between the hair. Um, between the bobble and the head. Uh, make sure nothing is too tight. That is really important because you can cut off circulation. Um, and um, if you do that, you can end up with a bald spot. I will insert a picture um, that my friend Desiree, um, it happened to one of her customers when she tried to do a top knot at home. Um, so it is really important that you can get that thumb and forefinger between the top knot and your pit finger placement. So next thing that I do, because what I'm going to show you today is the antennas that I, I do on Ivy that everybody tends to love. So what I do next is I go down the head with the pintail comb, right down and split it. She says, doing it, <laughs> doing it as neat as I can. Nice and down the head, make sure it's nice and split evenly. So at this point, you could just leave it like that with the one in. You could do it a little bit higher up as well and or add more in. Just make sure you don't take too much from behind, otherwise it'll be sat forward. But it actually, you want it to be laid onto the head. Um, so make sure that you do that. Um, if you're wanting to add more in like me, um, you can do. So if you split the head in half, and then what you want to do again is section with your pintail comb, Split it like that, get your sections. So I'm gonna lay down, you're gonna lay down. You're gonna lay down. Come on then. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> she ain't having it. So one thing you can do, I know that she she goes through whether she wants to sit down, stand up, 
If you can get your dog to lay down, I highly recommend um, getting a cushion um, or a rolled up towel for them to rest their head on and that will keep their heads nice and still. Um, this little monkey um, is a little monkey. So yeah, so I've sectioned that out again, if you can see, sectioned out, get a comb through and then grab your bobble, your next bobble. Get them all out. I want nice matching pink ones. Just keep picking out on it. Seems to have got out all the blue ones. <laughs> there we go. So make sure again, make sure when you you hold it, hold it so you know where you're gonna put it. Make sure it's not um not really really tight. Make sure you can get that thumb and forefinger in. And then you want to tie it on. Like I say, you can use the heme start, but it does make it very, 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 very tight. Um, and like I say, you, you're at risk of uh, making it far too tight. And make sure I've got that split right there. So what I like to do next is then do one on the other side. So again, I'm going to split it matching the other side. Take just as much off. Brush that all backwards at the back. Comb this all up at the top. Grab your bubble. Ooh. And you can pop that in. Um, of course, it just depends on your dog and how mucky and messy they get. Um, but sometimes this can last us a good few days. Um, and sometimes it doesn't. But yes, get your thumb and forefingers behind those bobbles. Like so. Make sure they're not too tight, that they're just sitting there nicely as opposed to pulling or tugging. Um, and then you can uh, carry the process on. Um, I quite like to do it all the way back to the back of her head. Um, but for a lot of people, a lot of people like the style of just the one um, on on the front. And you could do that um, do that on, on your dog uh, and pop a bow in there. If you are putting a, pop, popping a bow in there, I recommend you put a little elastic in first. Uh, so that takes the uh, that takes the hole, the pressure, and then if you're going to put a little bobble bow, put that on on top of your elastic uh, because it is it is far safer, um, and it won't create and um, and it, it won't cut off circulation or anything like that to the skin, and um, because that is a very high likelihood if you did that. So if I had a if I had a bow now, I would I would put it on top of that. So that wouldn't be the thing that would be holding it in place. It will likely help it to hold for much longer as well. As you can see, I've just done them partially up, but you could go up and right over the head. You could do uh, multiple sections across the head. You could just do one all the way up and back, or you could just do a few just in the top. It's completely up to you. Um, but uh, today, this is what I'm gonna go for. Um, I have done it before where I have inserted a bow. For example, um, this is the little Christmas one she wore at Christmas. And if you just pop it, um, just behind the butt, uh, the the butt, uh, the bobbles, it should sit in there very nicely. So uh, you could do that as well. And um, make sure that you take that out whenever you've finished whatever event you're going to, because that's not going to be very comfortable to sleep in. Um, but I find um, this will last us a good couple of days. Um, thank you for watching, guys, and I hope that was really helpful. If you would like any more top knot videos, more in depth, more. Um, more complex designs I am more than happy to do so uh, please pop a comment below and tell me what you think to this video we love you